One of my biggest complaints with the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus has finally been solved. But before I get to that, I want to talk about the reason this is possible. And if you've watched my videos or other Tesla videos, you know just how big of a deal software updates is to the experience of a Tesla. I've owned this Tesla now for almost 18 months. And one of the main reasons I bought this car was because of the software updates and the ability that Tesla had to push new features out to a car and kind of allow the vehicle that you buy to feel new. Even though the Model 3 has had a few physical changes that have been well documented recently, I'm still getting new features via software updates that make my driving experience uh, more enjoyable. You know, a few of those examples would be the entertainment system, it's not something I use a ton, but having YouTube and Netflix, especially at super supercharging stops. Hold mode is another example of, of a software update that has increased my experience driving this Tesla, where when I first got the car, you had to push on the brake to go into hold mode, and that was fine. But shortly after, I got a software update allowing me to choose hold mode as a driving option in the settings and now whenever my car automatically slows down and goes to zero it gets put into hold mode that's something i really enjoy and again you know this isn't the only car that does software updates but it was one of the main selling points and it's been tremendous for me so what's changed that has increased my happiness driving the car well one of my biggest complaints was me and my wife share this car. And when she would drive it to work and then the next day when I would get in it, it would be on her driver profile. And even though she wasn't in the car, it wouldn't intelligently switch to my profile and connect my phone. Well, finally, that has been changed. And boy, has it made a big difference in my life just driving this car. Because you can set a phone in the Bluetooth settings now as a priority device. And so I've done that for my phone. And whenever I'm in the car, even if my wife or anyone else is in the car, it automatically connects my phone first because it's the priority device. Man, I mean, who would have thought something as simple as this would have made a big difference in my life? You know, for those of you who, who you don't share the car, it's no big deal. But for people who do share the car, it makes a big difference because anytime I'm with my wife, I drive the car. So it makes sense that I have the priority device. And just, just just the little things that make owning and driving a Tesla so enjoyable. It's those software updates, I think, is one of the primary reasons that I would recommend this vehicle to someone because they're constantly changing. They're constantly improving. Pretty soon, I think uh, Tesla software 11.0 will be coming out I don't have full self-driving, so that's not going to benefit me a whole lot, but I'm curious to see what new features there are, and it's it's an exciting part of owning a car, and it's why I, it's not the only reason I recommend Tesla, but it's one of the reasons where you're constantly getting software updates that make the experience better. So if you're on the fence, I can't recommend it more. I, it's been a, a great purchase, no regrets whatsoever. It's far exceeded my expectations and hopefully this video is just a little insight as to why Tesla is a great investment. Uh, it's I don't think all my complaints are going to be resolved with this, but slowly over time things that bugged me have been resolved and I appreciate that. So. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to do videos on or discuss. And also, I got a shout out to Alejandro who used my referral code. I appreciate that. It's going to benefit you more than it benefits me. I don't uh, travel on road trips that often. But if you're considering buying a Tesla, use a referral code. It doesn't have to be mine. It can be a friend's. It can be anybody's. But definitely make sure you use a referral code if you buy a Tesla to get those free supercharging miles because... The Tesla Model 3, you don't get those. No unlimited supercharging. All that's a thing of the past. So make sure you use a referral code. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a, a wonderful week, a wonderful holiday season. Until the next time, take care.